hateful and creepy Sussex. Harry and Meghan under fire as pulled in struggle Kate birthday. Meghan Markle fans have hit back at an article that pits royal women against one another ahead of the Duchess of Cambridge's 40th birthday this weekend. Royal commentator Omid Scobie shared an opinion piece from a tabloid newspaper that appeared to speak favorably of Gate, Duchess of Cambridge, who turns 40 on Sunday, but heavily criticized other royal women including Meghan Markle, Princess Charlene of Monaco and Queen Letizia of Spain. Mr Scobie wrote, I don't understand this constant need to use op-eds about the Duchess of Cambridge's 40th to sling mud at women that have nothing to do with her or her birthday. The language in this vile article is sexist, hateful and creepy. Joe Holmes echoed Omid's thoughts writing, this article is vile. While writer Abby Gardner referred to the article as deeply disturbing. Royal fan May Eater simply wrote horrible, while another follower of Mr. Scobie's with the screen name Maya wrote, Wow, that article is shockingly hateful. And so glaringly exaggerated in its compliments to Catherine, it's almost as if it mocks her too. Experts fear Prince Harry, Meghan Markle may find some reason not to attend Queen's Jubilee. Experts fear Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may work to craft some reason for the royal not to attend the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Royal commentator and expert Jonathan Sacerdotti made this admission during his interview with Christina Ross and Christina Garibaldi from the Royal Ears podcast. He started it all off by admitting, Meghan will probably be in attendance if traveling and everything is okay with the kids and everything like that. So this will be the first time that Meghan and Harry have come back, obviously Harry came back for the statue unveiling but this is the first time that the Queen will hopefully meet her great-granddaughter. Mr. Sacerdotti also said, this could be the case. I have heard some rumors that maybe Prince Harry will come back without Meghan. It is notable that she hasn't been back during those visits he's made. She hasn't really been back to the UK as far as I know since they left and she may sense that she is not the most popular person here with the public. So it might be that they'll find a reason for her not to come, could be the children, it could be that they just don't want to steal the focus away from those celebrations and the Queen. But of course whatever they do, unfortunately for them and for the royal family, it will steal some focus because if she doesn't come, everyone will be talking about that. If she does come, everyone will be talking about that. So whatever happens, I think there's going to be plenty of discussion of how their relationship is with the Queen and the wider royal family. And that means that this could be an opportunity for them to come back and appear magnanimous, and really just throw themselves into the celebrations and keep a low profile. If they remember how to do that. I'm not sure. Or it could be a moment that they act diplomatically and maybe Harry comes back that Meghan doesn't and then the celebrations might go on after a bit of gossip column style coverage of that. Queen Elizabeth II had an icy clash with Prince William and Kate Middleton over royal duties, reportedly leaving the monarch livid. A royal expert said this week that Kate will become even more important to the Queen this year as the royal family prepares for yet more testing times. The firm is still being impacted by the scandal around Prince Andrew's lawsuit, with a judge deciding this week whether it will go to trial. There are also said to be concerns about Prince Harry's upcoming memoir, which could further strain relations within the royal family.